Remember our last conversation, when you told me the artifacts made you feel like you were being pulled across the entire galaxy? Well, it got me thinking. So I dove into our archives and started looking through Constellation's older journal entries. Just because I wasn't familiar with the experience you described, doesn't mean the same might have been true for my predecessor. Really? I'm surprised that I haven't. After reading those journals, all of the pleasant memories of my time spent with Aja just started flooding back. Well, there's no reason to be jealous. They were just, I don't know, different times. Aja was the one that taught me the ropes at Constellation and took me under her wing as her protégé. Yeah, I thought so too. That's why I adopted her methods. You know, Aja and I logged quite a few interesting discoveries together. But it was the journey itself that I'll never forget. Exactly. For me, it was all about the quieter moments. There was nothing quite like sitting back and watching space bend while listening to Aja spin vivid stories to fill the time. Oh, I find that sort of cozy isolation the best way to really get to know someone. I'll take that as a compliment. Thank you. You know, all this talk about Aja reminds me that my time with her was a gift. I miss her dearly. I respected her, and I considered her a dear friend. But we weren't in love. Had that been true, I would have resigned my post and moved to Parima 2 instead of remaining at Constellation. Come to think of it, if we're ever out that far, perhaps we could pay her a visit and I could make proper introductions. Well, I don't expect you to be a carbon copy of Aja. Just be yourself. You see, it's clear that we share the same hunger to discover what's out there. And that, well, that's what intrigues me about you. I... I don't know if I deserve to be that close to anyone right now. If you knew about the things that I've done, the way my life's unfolded, I think your opinion of me might change. Please, give me some time. I, 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 I have to go. There was a small bit of dust by your shoulder. How dare you try to
Scan complete. You're clear to land. Ugh, I lived on Mars for an entire year, and I'm convinced I'll never get used to the dusty air. Hmm. Dropping off a few choice items? Talk to you later. I do. You must have read my mind. Okay. I hope I'm not bothering you. Keep a lookout. Notify us if you see anything suspicious. Mars isn't for everyone. Hey, you looking for anything in particular? Yo, hey, what's up? You looking to do some shopping here at the Trade Authority? I'm Monaki. Feel free to ask me anything and I'll do my best to help you out. Yo, this dude came in once trying to sell this whack looking fish or something. It was still alive. He had it in this big plastic bag full of water and everything. Good size too. I was trying to tell him I didn't know if we took in things like that, but then my boss came over and told me we absolutely did, and I had to process the sale and store the thing. <laughs> Man, what a pain in the ass that was. Even weirder, someone came in and bought it like right away. The hell's that about, right? Man, sorry, I can't really say that. Really, they told me not to say anything like that because rumors, you know? All I know is that we're running a business here, and I was told to take in all trades and sell whatever we've got. <laughs> and listen, I'm not gonna worry about anything other than that. Oh man, no, I'm still new here, so I don't know how qualified I am to answer that. We're like this huge network of shipping and trade throughout the known universe. Everyone, Free Stars, UC, even Varun uses us in some capacity, because I guess we're all about free trade for all. <laughs> Yo, I wouldn't be surprised if we bought and sold from the Crimson Fleet, right? They pay my salary, so as far as I'm concerned, they're all right in my book. Cool, that's what we do here.
Come back anytime. Invoices can be collected from the... Oh. Not here for a delivery, are you? Do you know? Well, I do wish I could help you, Captain, but Dr. Walker has been missing for some time. A shame, too. We had such high hopes for Percival. I brought him on myself to do medical and biological consulting around the city. Not the sort of work the Trade Authority traditionally does. But we thought it had the potential to become a whole new type of revenue stream for our branch. I invested no small amount of personal capital into the endeavor. But then he decided to run off after a... discipline issue. I presume the miners have him hidden somewhere. <laughs> Plenty of cracks on this old rock. But at this point it's probably for the best. Dr. Walker decided to start brewing and selling his own pharmaceuticals to our customers, below cost. Something his contract expressly forbade. As such, we requested our cut of the profits and began garnishing his salary. Perhaps a little too severely, but well within legal limits. It was around then that he ran off, abandoning his duty and his unpaid accounts. They were all devils. Red devils. A UC Marine unit based here on Mars, though they were disbanded shortly after the Colony War. I presume a number of them served alongside Dr. Walker. Bonds forged in battle and all that. That won't be necessary. The Trade Authority isn't interested in employing someone so... unreliable. But we would like the money he owes us. If you can convince him to pay his debts, we'd be most grateful. Oh, I loathe the Trade Authority. Is it absolutely necessary that we have to help them? I couldn't have put that better myself. Hmm. Pity. Perhaps a little advance on my part might pique your interest. Visit the Sixth Circle, a bar on the lowest level of the city. If someone in Sidonia knows where Percival is, you'll find them there. Don't be caught on the Martian surface without proper protective gear. All outside surface activities require the use of a certified safety suit. If you're here to broker it, well, well. Look what the Martian winds blew in. I'm in what you might call the Special Liaisons Department. When the TA needs to deal with, um, let's call them organizations that tend to fly below the radar, that's where I step in. I keep my own hours and the pay is good, so who the hell am I to complain? Leaving already? I was just getting interested. Spears upstairs. Go drown yourself there. This bar's for devil's vets and their kin. Doc Walker? You're barking up the wrong. Andy, you. Why don't you come here and tell me what some stray wants with Walker? Not every day a stray topsider wanders into my bar claiming they know people. What do you want with Dr. Walker? What? Someone give him the keys to a battle cruiser? Look, 
You can make up whatever crazy story you want, but you should forget about Percival. You can spare us the performative stone walling. We simply need a moment of his time, and you needn't hear from us ever again. And you're someone I should trust, and huh? why? I'm UC Military. Retired. Can give you my gene tag code, too, if you'd like. Not necessary. But look, even if I decided I was going to help you get in contact with Dr. Walker, Percival made himself scarce for a reason. His debt to the Trade Authority. But if someone resolved that debt, well, Percival wouldn't have to hide anymore. Can bet that person would make a friend out of Percival, and the rest of us devils. And I'm always inclined to help a friend. Red Devils were the meanest marine unit the UC Navy ever had. Couldn't get in if you hadn't done at least one stint as a Martian Dusty. Made us tough. Reliable. That's why they chose us as the handlers for the UC Xeno weapons. No other unit could handle that pressure. Percival, though, he wasn't a grunt like all of us. Science officer. Made sure the monsters behaved themselves around the devils didn't with everyone else, but it was those monsters that did us in. When the colony war ended and the armistice came down, everything associated with Xeno weapons got shelved, Red Devils included. Now, yeah, now they're just a memory. Well. The most straightforward way to take care of this debt would be to just saunter up to the Authority and pay him direct, if you've got credits to throw away. Of course, rumor is the Trade Authority keeps all their records, and collections files, on a central server inside their storeroom. If someone was to break in there and adjust Percival's debt to something a little more reasonable, say... A few hundred credits? I'd be happy to cover the costs. Making that adjustment would be illegal. I don't think this is a road we should travel. And, uh, one soldier to another. Sidonia's full of old utility tunnels and crawl spaces. Wouldn't be surprised if there was one that let out right into the Authority storeroom. Say, with an entrance behind the bar at the Broken Spear? Ooh, and you might need these. Me? Nah. Infantry officer. But my grunts deployed alongside the things. Never seen anything like it. Before or since. Monsters from the darkest corners of the Black rampaging across the battlefield. And understand why they banned them. Brutal. Armistice hurt us more than most, but... Wow. Wasn't all bad that came out of that agreement. And I look forward to hearing the good news. Psst. Hey, you. Maybe Vanguard. Come here. Heard you talking with Lou. So you're going to help Dr. Walker? Oh, no, I, I mean, I've got my suspicions, but look, you're planning to help Percival, right? Oh, good, good. Oh, Percival's a good guy. Listen, I know how you can do it without having to resort to any B and E. Aqueous hematite. Mars is full of it. People think it's just garbage, but Percival and I, we've been working on some projects in the deep mines, at least when he wasn't slaving away at his trade authority contract, but we stumbled on a way to make it useful and profitable. You give our research over to Octai at the trade authority, it should more than cover Percival's debt. That guy's always looking for an angle. Well, yeah. 
We were never able to finish the research. Spacers moved in and ran us out. Started setting up shop. Oh dear. I believe I see where this is leading. But if you can clear them out, I can walk you through how to finish the research. Then you can give it over to the Trade Authority. They'll get folks working in the deep mines again. Jobs come back, I become a modern-day folk hero. <laughs> then I don't have to sleep on an inflated spacesuit anymore. Great, great. So access to the deep mines can be found outside the city. It's not far. Shouldn't even need to hop back in your ship. We'd set up right near the main drill. Taking out the spacer leader should get the message across to the rest of them to buzz off. Once you've managed that, phone up here on the comms panel and I can walk you through finishing the research. Devils aren't exactly your average bar crowd. You can see it in their eyes. We don't belong here. Go off gravel! The comms panel should be right near the... out here.
stock up on junk. stairs lead deeper into the mines. I hope we remember the way back to the surface.
lasers rendered these machines completely obsolete. Well, we clearly can't get through this way. Perhaps we should try making our way down using the caves in the back of the area.
not gonna last much longer. We're carrying too many odds and ends. Time to let something go.
Let me see. Reduced joint wear? Oh, increased lifting capacity? A dose of this stuff could make a binder way more efficient. This formula's gotta be worth at least as much as whatever Percival owes. Okay, so here's what you do. Tell Octai and the Trade Authority you found a business proposal that will make miners more efficient, higher yield, synergy, you know, all that business crap. And that you'll trade it to him for clearing Percival's debt. You good at doing pitches and stuff like that? This is gonna be great. Oh, and here, a copy of the formula for yourself, in case you ever wanna try maximizing your own industrial output. Oh, use that if you can. Good luck. Money love, so if you've got something to say, then say it. Was there something else? Hmm. I'm never one to turn away an opportunity. But I'd be curious what you think you've uncovered in the Martian market that others have missed. Aqueous hematite, iron and wastewater. Well, I'm not surprised no one has proposed something like this before. And exactly what does this new drug of yours do? Hmm. An interesting proposal, if your data pans out. But where's this hematite coming from? The active mines would be too expensive to retool. The deep mines could be an option, but they're full of spacers. Or so I've heard. Well now, that is intriguing. A completely untapped resource pool. And the sort of utility every mining firm in Sidonia would be clamoring to get their hands on. We could contract out all the actual lab work, bring on one of the hungrier mining concerns for materials, the licensing fees alone, and think what it would do for our image with the general populace. This mine reopened thanks to the Martian Trade Authority. Very interesting indeed. And what do you want for the rights to this drug? Dr. Walker's dead? That's it? Consider it wiped. Well, it seems we have a deal then. And here. A finder's fee from the Authority. A perfectly reasonable amount for a discovery with this sort of potential. Wouldn't want you feeling short-changed down the road. We'll just be taking that slate before you have any second thoughts. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Captain. Sidonia City Security is here to keep you safe. If you see something suspicious, please don't hesitate to report it to sense. any security officer. Fine work. My end of the bargain then, I suppose. 
He's holed up in the old Red Devils HQ. The place was sealed up tight after the UC shuttered our unit, but we snuck him in the back entrance through the deep mines. I was also going to warn you about spaces down there, but it sounds like you might have already tossed those dregs. Here, the passkey. And I'll let him know there's someone he owes one hell of a thank you on their way down.
might as well take what we can. Explain to me why you're going around harassing nefarious old men by wiping away their hard-earned debts? Adrian sent you. She's... did... did she look okay? Sounds like Adrian. Watch that woman lose a digit trying to get a better tissue sample. What? You can reattach a finger, Percy. So what exactly did she have you bring me? Adrian said that, huh? If she made you come all the way for this... Let's get inside. I need to see these cells.
gonna ask you to not touch anything. Got some projects in the works down here. I wasn't expecting guests. Oh, and Lou mentioned how you took care of the dead. Can't say I'm thrilled the Trade Authority got their mitts on the research. But I guess that's the price you pay not to live in a cave the rest of your days. All queued up. Let's gaze into this abyss, shall we? All right. Just get my cellular markers tagged. Wait. Where are the markers? This... This can't be right. This sample. It's Londinian. I'll... I'll need to get this all in a slate. Adrian really gave you this sample. You're not lying to me? Because if you told me this was a hoax, and it'd be the best damn fake I've ever seen, I'd be mad and very, very relieved. Can't just humor an old man, huh? This sample, it's got all the indicators of the worst terramorph attack in human history. I presume you've heard of Londinian. It was a city wiped completely off the map by terramorphs. The swarms were so bad, they had to blow the spaceport and seal the place off from the galaxy at large. Not a lot of samples made it off the world from the time of the attack, but the ones that did, well, they look just like this one. I didn't detect any of the telltale signatures this specimen ever sat on a ship while it was alive, either. I don't think it was transported to Talzetti. This specimen, it grew there, faster than any Terramorph should. Which means, if we're about to start a new era in human Terramorph relations, where big, sudden Londinian-style attacks can happen outside Londinian, that's not gonna end well for humanity. It would be the end of us as a species. So you lugged this bad omen all the way here. You want to tell me what your plans are for it now? Because until now, the Terramorphs that wiped out Londinian had the good sense to stay put. What happened there? It was a tragedy but at least it was contained. So to find evidence for a similar attack on a different world, well, we don't have enough information to know precisely what this means, but I doubt it's good. So I'd love to know what it is you're planning from here. The circle, huh? <sighs> Could use a drink about now. Here, faster we take the lift to the surface. Not supposed to use it, but given the circumstances, I'm inclined to just ask forgiveness. Let's get going. Recycled air just isn't the same as the real thing.
Percival. My God, look at you. You're an old man now. <laughs> you know hassling yourself anymore, Major. Our friend here showed me your sample. Suffice it to say. Not here. Let's talk somewhere more private. Lou said we could use the back. Lou gave me the abridged version of what went down. Yeah, I can't thank you enough for taking care of all that. Makes two of us. I hope it ultimately didn't end up being too much trouble. That's... well, that's certainly not what I was expecting you'd have to go through. But thank you. I'm just glad you both came through intact. So... Were you two able to get that work up together? Got it right here. That sample? It's an exact match for the ones from Londinian. Londinian? That's... That's exactly what I was afraid of. Not thrilled to be the bearer of that kind of news. That's for damn sure. So tell me you've got some kind of plan for that work up. Well, right now, we've got more questions than answers. So I've been trying to figure out what it's going to take to access our old Terramorph data. Good place to start. What'd you find? It's in the archives. The Armistice Archives? Doesn't that mean we'd be dealing with the Cabinet? And the Freestar Collective? And House Varun somehow? Guess we can kiss that approach goodbye. I didn't think the Cabinet would be willing to hear us out either. But I called in some favors. They've agreed to hear us out on two conditions. One, they want to see this analysis you two have procured. And two, they want to discuss what happened on Tau Ceti with both of us. Well, that's about the best news I've had all day. But before you commit, I want to make sure you know the whole story. Percival and I, we're not just researchers. We were military scientists, ran a division of the UC together that deployed aliens on the battlefield as weapons. Place I was hiding out, that was our unit's home base. After some early fits and starts at other facilities, the place eventually became the heart of UC Xeno Warfare. A practice that's been banned ever since the armistice went into effect almost 20 years ago. And the UC military cut us loose for what we'd done. Oh. Well... That, um... That means a lot. It's not something I'm exactly proud of. But it was during that assignment that the UC asked us to explore deploying Terramorphs on the battlefield. The project never got off the ground, but the data our team gathered is now sitting in the archives, along with all the other information banned after the Colony War. Under the watchful eye of monitors from all the galactic factions still participating in regular politics. But if we can convince the Cabinet to help us access that data, it'll give us the tools we need to decipher what exactly this sample might mean. And hopefully, how to prevent more attacks like the one that spawned it. All right. I'm gonna go get this work up into the Cabinet's hands. I'll meet you out front of Mast in New Atlantis. Good luck. You two are gonna need it. <laughs>